Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. And today, we are to be finishing up the rest of the mini games we've done 15 out of the 20, they are very treacherously difficult to get them all done, but we've been doing a pretty gosh darn good job so far, and we're gonna be doing the last final five of them today, and hopefully everything turns out okay with that, because some of these are really tough. But before we do, of course, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the Zen Garden, and as you can see, there are lots of little marigolds growing. We have, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11 of them right now. I can buy some more, but I might save that for after the episode. I'll just do it on my own time. You guys have sort of seen the idea a lot recently. So I think that for right now, we'll just stick with the mini games. I'm gonna keep doing this, of course, between episodes. But yeah, let's go ahead and do Last Stand. Now this, I think, is similar to whatever, you know, Last Stand levels we'll have at the end of a world, but a little bit different, as you can see. So instead of starting with zero sun and working our way up, we start with 5,000 sun. So I guess it really isn't anything like we run into this train mode. We have 5,000 sun and we're supposed to place and choose plants and then we just sort of let it rip and hope everything turns out okay. <laughs> it's not easy, that's for sure. Um, and there's so many different strategies you could do with this to make it work. And I'm just trying to think through what may be best. And I'm thinking something like Oh, this could work. If I do something like that, but I also have to get stuff on the lily pads. Oh, if we had one more slot, this would be perfect. Um, I think when, instead of torchwood, or not torchwood, uh, chomper. I mean, I guess we don't need, mm, it's hard to say. Cause I need lily pads for sure. And then, one last plant. What was it gonna be? I had it in my mind. I wanted to do, oh, that's not gonna be easy. Okay, if we got rid of that, the spike weed, or the pumpkin. But we really need the pumpkin, just to make these taunts even more defensive. I mean, maybe it's not necessary, though. We'll do spike weeds, we will do magnet shroom, and then, where's coffee bean? Coffee bean, where are you, right here? So what, what else can I do besides this? I could do a snow pea to slow them down and to burn them, because it will stack like that. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. I mean, I don't really see too many things that could be missing. I feel like this will be a great way to defend against a lot of zombies. Uh, let's hope, can you survive for five flags? So this is the idea, is that from here on out, we're just sort of on our own. Now, I'm not really calcul calculating this too much, so this might end up not being right, and I'll have to do this all over again. But we're just supposed to spend our 5,000 sun any way we can. So yeah, I need a torch with there, and there, and then here, and then, as, right now we'll just do two of these and see if we can't afford more afterwards. Do the same idea like that. I definitely need a torchwood every single lane like that. We are starting to run really low on sun. This is gonna be a bit of a risk. Got that, got this. Yeah, there's not enough room for the snow piece as well. So we're just gonna leave it like this. The problem is that I don't have enough for spike weeds. I think it's much more worth it to have magnet shrooms. So, how much are these each? A lot. <laughs> well, that's the best we got. Let's see if it works. Five rounds like this though, I'm a little skeptical. We'll have to wait and see. We don't earn any more sun. This is it. This is our last stand for five waves like this. But it's actually quite nice because we can just sort of sit back and watch the magic happen. It's fun. Um, and hopefully, you know, some coins will drop, we'll pick them up, and that's sort of the fun about this game mode, is a little bit, I'd say hands off, but I don't really know that experience, because I have hooves. So it's pretty hooves off. <laughs> um, you know, we just sit here and let it all happen. At first, we're gonna be, you know, destroying these guys. But I think that as things continue, maybe it'll be a little bit more difficult. If I had enough money, this could be a great spot to buy a certain plant that might be helpful for something like this. But for now, this works just fine. Um, I think a lot of people usually use this minigame to farm up coins and other items that you know zombies can drop. It's just a matter of the fact that uh, you need a good setup and then you just sort of let it rip. And of course, there are endless modes. We'll run into those later um, in our series, and that'll be fun. And even if some zombies get too close here, that's what the magnet shrooms are for. Let me go ahead and get that. It would be cool if after a little while they did give you some sun, but they don't. I'm pretty sure it's just this for the rest of it. But I mean, we have a pretty decent setup. There goes the dolphin, and that's why it was worth, oh, nice, that's awesome. But that's why it was totally worth getting the tall nuts instead of just normal walnuts, so those guys can jump over it, because I know there's gonna be dolphins. 
I don't think they had any gargantuars or anything. But I did want to say thank you guys so much for supporting this series so far. It's been a lot of fun playing this game. It's still one of my favorite games of all time, so it's been exciting. Oh, we do get sun. Well, what do you know? So I'm just gonna go ahead quickly and get another one of these. It might seem silly, but the more, you know, walnuts they, or not walnuts, but uh, bucket heads and the like they throw at us, the more difficult that's gonna get. So for right now, I'm just gonna put the rest of my money to spike weeds. I think that'll work pretty well. This is where we could really utilize PVZ2 speed up function. And that's another topic I wanted to talk about. I've talked about it previously in the series, but I want to talk about it again because I keep getting the question, will I play PVZ2 one day and why haven't I at this point? Uh, the main reason why I haven't is because it's a huge game, so it's daunting for me to start. You know, like all the other PVZ games I've played, right? Besides PVZ1, of course, but that's sort of different. Um, PVZ God of War for one, I played the day it launched on God of War. For, or, or, what am I talking about? God of War for one, I played the day it launched on PS4. Um, God of War for two, I played the day it launched. PVZ Heroes, I played the day it soft launched in like New Zealand or whatever. But PVZ two, like I didn't cover it when it first came out. I just, I don't know, I didn't even realize it come out. Um, and then a couple years later, you know, I started playing God of Warfare and I got a little more well known for the PVZ games. Oh nice, he dropped the diamond, that was good. But now that all these years later, a lot of people want to see me play PVZ two, and I want to, but it's just a matter of. It's a tough game to get into this far in because there's just so many premium plants, there's just so much to do. I wouldn't really know where to start. And of course, obviously, you would start with the story mode. So like, I think I would do that, but it's like, I don't know. And then there's all, of course, like the holiday events I've missed over the years. I mean, it doesn't really matter much. You guys wanna see me play the game and have fun, so that's what I plan on doing. Um, it's just a matter of it might take me some time. Since it's such a huge game, it will be a very, very long series if I even go through with all of it. Maybe I'll just do a little bit of it for now and then a little bit later or something. Um, but I wanna wait. You know, We're doing PVZ1 for right now, maybe a couple months down the line, because I sort of wanna see what maybe, if there's anything PVZ related, you know, being announced at E3 next month. Successfully defended two flags, so that was pretty good. So there we go, we got a full lane of spike weeds. So now we're probably gonna, with the rest of our sun, just fill out more and more spike weeds, which will be great. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, I don't know if, you know, PopCap will be announcing anything at E3, but I'm trying to be prepared just in case they do, because imagine if they did. I'd be playing Plants vs. Zombies 1, I'm already doing PVZ Heroes and Garden Warfare 2, and then it's like, if they announce a new game, then, I'd be also trying to, you know, make videos on that, and then also people want me to play PVZ2, like that'd be a lot of Plants vs. Zombies, and I know I don't just have Plants vs. Zombies fans in the Zebra Herd, I have other fans of other games as well, and I wanna to try to make everybody happy. So, right now it's a lot to balance, but maybe after a month or two after beating this game, and if there's not really too much going on in the world of PVZ, we could do something. I wanna play the game eventually for you guys, especially simply because you guys have been asking for it, but it just might take me some time, so I appreciate your patience. But in the meantime, I've been having so much fun with this game, and it seems like you guys have been too. And then some people have been asking me if I could play another obscure PVZ game called PVZ Adventures. And if you guys don't know, PVZ Adventures is an interesting topic. I feel like one day I might wanna make a video on it because so few people seem to know about it. Plants vs. Zombies Adventures was a mobile, not a mobile game, but a web browser game on Facebook out of all websites. Sort of like Farmville, but with Plants vs. Zombies, it was weird. I never played it, and then it got taken down shortly after it was made, like only a couple months after. So not many people played it. It's literally impossible to play now. Like, wherever they you know, hosted the game, like it doesn't exist anymore. I have searched the, the web high and low. There is no like backup of PVZ Adventures. As far as I understand, the game just doesn't exist anymore. And that's a shame. I would love to check it out, just out of interest of liking the series so much, you know? I've never really seen it before. It seems like it would be really cool just to see a PVZ game that's just unheard of now. But yeah. I don't know, it's really, it's like, it's weird, because PVZ Adventures was like a tower defense, but more of the typical tower defense. Like, if you were to look up tower defense game, you wouldn't really see PVZ as much you would see, like, you know, oh, a good example is Bloons. I know Bloons TD6 is coming out soon. I'm really excited for that one. But uh, Bloons, you know how, like, it goes down a specific path and you can put uh, defenses wherever you want around the path that the, uh, the enemies are going? It was like that, but in PVZ style, so, that sign seems like actually it could be a lot of fun and it seems like it had a lot of cool ideas but it was just probably full of microtransactions. We're getting a lot of cash. That's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and try to uh, be ready. I mean, I'm thinking that I'll be ready to like place a plant, 
down when I need it, but there's no way to do that. I mean, my strategy worked out pretty well, even if it was quite the basic strategy. Doesn't matter to me, I, I, it worked, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm hoping I can get like another 150 sun after completing this, this uh, third flag. I mean, this is our fourth flag, actually. So we only have one more to go after this, but if I can get 150 sun, that means I can do two more spike leads, which would be pretty good. So if I had to tweak the strategy at all, it would be obviously just to get rid of the snow peas. What I would put in instead, maybe spike weeds, that'd be good. It'd be fun if you could put sunflowers down, but you can't. That's the whole trick of it. <laughs> It'd be way too easy if you could put sunflowers down. All right, we're about to deal with all these guys. The spike weeds definitely help, that's, that's for sure. And this bucket head actually doesn't have any magnet shrooms to stop them. It's like, who's gonna stop me? Oh, that is definitely 150, and then some. So put a spike weed there, and there, and then we have a little bit left over that I guess I'll just sort of leave. Okay, continue the onslaught. Four flags have been completed, so this should be our final flag. This was actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, which is great. I mean, it could still be really awful, but I think it's fine. So I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled to see if we can uh, get more coins, because we broke 10,000. If I can double the amount of coins I have right now, I could uh, get the extra seed slot, which would be very helpful. There's still so much more we can do in this game. So I hope you guys are excited for some more of the upcoming episodes. I mean, a lot of you seem like you've been excited. I know I had like a couple day break between episode seven and eight, and a lot of people were asking like, hey, when's the next episode? But I felt really bad, because I was just, I had some like, personal life busyness. But yeah, I mean, PBZ2 really does a lot for PBZ in the terms of like how much it opens up the game with different you know, plants and zombies and stuff, and I wanna play it because, to be honest with you, I've only played a couple of worlds in PBZ2. I've played the, you know, the normal Egyptian world, the Wild West, and then I think Far Future is after that. I really didn't even give PBZ2 a solid try until they reorganized the worlds. Because originally the worlds were in a different order than what they are now, and it's like, that's another reason why it's like really confusing for me, and I'm like, ah. But I just need to sort of put those kind of problems to my side and just, you know, go for it and have some fun. But I'm really hoping that we get something PVZ related this E3. I mean, once again, I don't really know anything more than the average PVZ fan does. I just sort of pay attention to, you know, all the developers and stuff and what they're doing, just because, you know, I really like their work. And you might have noticed that like some people who work on like Garden Warfare and such have been, you know, talking about Garden Warfare 2 a lot, especially compared to what they have been in the past year. Like the developers and oh wow, we did it. <laughs> I've been very active in the community the last couple of weeks, and that's been very peculiar. And then they had the announcement recently that there will be PopCap staff at EA Play, which is basically EA's um, E3 conference, which last year, I don't think there was anybody from PopCap doing anything at E3 last year, so that's a big sign. Anyways, we got Last Dan done very easily, and now we're moving on to Zombotany 2. So the very first minigame, Zombotany, but even more difficult. We have the pea shooter zombies, but then we have like squash zombies, tallnut zombies, and then jalapeno zombies. I don't even know what to do about the jalapeno zombies. Will they just destroy my entire lane? Yeesh, okay, so I think our best bet, we could do something like this. That'd work out pretty well. And then, you know, let's hit fire with fire. They're gonna do uh, jalapenos, let's do cherry bombs. And then lastly, let's do something a little bit different that we don't normally do. What would that be? I mean, we could, oh, we gotta do a lily pad, actually. A lily pad. And then maybe instead of repeater, we could just do melon pulp. Yeah, let's try that out. With the uh, twin sunflower, it'll be tough at first, but I think we can make it work. I'm pretty confident. It'd be fun if we did some Lily pad garlic, because then we could push them out of the water lane if we did it on both of them. I mean, eventually they eat the garlic, but it takes them a while, and at that point it would be restored. You probably have enough sun for it. Those things go very, very badly. But yeah, for right now, we'll just try to handle what we can. Of course, it's still a difficult thing to handle, and maybe this won't work. You know, now I'm thinking about it, like I, I'm starting to get second thoughts. <laughs> because the only thing we can really do about it right now is rely on the potato mines. It's the only thing we can do, and hope that that sunflower makes some sun before she gets taken out, because she's about to get taken out. Oh boy, hold on, sunflower, thank you. Oh gosh, okay, so you're gonna luckily get exploded. 
And then there's just another one taking its place. We'll go ahead and put another one there, but I feel like, oh gosh, it's tough to deal with. Um, Maybe tall nuts were a mistake. Okay, now you're buttered. Very good. So I'm gonna try to get more kernel pulse all over the place. No, you're unbuttered already. Jeez, it's so difficult. I just gotta hope that nobody shows up in the water lane for a little while. Another one on this lane, are you kidding me? That's just gonna be tough to deal with because now it's just two peas heading down here. It's such a cool idea, but it's so difficult as well. Um, I need to go ahead and put a sunflower here, put that there, then you're gonna get buttered. Come on, come on. Uh, put that there. I need 100 sun for the last lane. And then at least we have some line of defense. More butter! Boom, good. Got it. I need to put tall nuts out. Like, this is why I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should've done walnuts because they, they're more affordable. I could've actually gotten them out sooner. But now that we've gotten all the kernel pulse, we really can start focusing on that. So I can go ahead and do this. And I hope that's a good spot for them. I think it's gonna be the best spot I can ask for, for now. Oh, this is so crazy. Like, oh my gosh. And then we're gonna be a while out until our next, our next tall nut. So this is a bit of a problemo. I think I'm just gonna put that there. And then maybe I could just put this guy here. Weird spot for him, I know. But what more can I do? Then I need to start putting lily pads out as soon as possible. That poor, poor Colonel Pult. We're about to get another taunt up though, which is good. Okay, so I'm gonna put it here. That's pretty good. Maybe this is just too much of an expensive strategy. It's certainly possible. I mean, I could put you here. We're using sunflowers as also sort of mini walnuts in a way with how I'm using them to defend us. Oh, we already got guys coming in the water lane. Why, 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 why? Jeez, I wish you could put potato mines on only pads. I understand why it doesn't make sense, but I wish it somehow did. Okay, so I need to put tall nuts up here. We're about to hit our first super huge wave as well, which is all kinds of scary. I'm gonna go ahead and make that a dedicated twin sunflower lane for now. Okay, so you're eating through stuff over there. That's not good. These tall nuts are gonna take a beating, that's for sure. I mean, at this point, I might just have to save up for a cherry bomb. Okay, trying to think through what I should be doing. I need to put this here, I think. I mean, I guess I don't have to. Not yet, until stuff actually starts popping up on that lane. Okay, so, so far, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy here. And that way, the, the water lanes are at least decently protected now. So I need to stop placing sunflowers and only focus on twin sunflowers at this rate. Put that there. And that guy should get buttered, very good, because at this point, I am going to really, really need those melon pulse. So I'm gonna have to put them probably right just behind the tall nuts. So there we go. Almost all the tall nuts are taken care of. Uh, hmm, I'm gonna do that for now, even though Probably fool should put this one twin sunflower there. It was just for extra protection, I suppose. So we do have a cherry bomb if we really, really need it. And I think we probably really need it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got walnuts coming in. Where should I put this stuff though? I'm thinking, actually this really isn't too bad. We might be able to handle this. Uh, get this here. And then I'm gonna put a melon pole right there. Okay, so. Maybe get a sunflower like that, and then another twin sunflower there. Okie doke, twin sunflowers are so helpful, I love them. We'll do that there. So this has been a pretty intense episode, I think. I and mean, we've got two more mini games after this, that's for sure. Hmm. Trying to find out like what's the best spot for everything. I guess this there for now. And then we'll put more lily pads down like that. We're gonna have to replace this guy soon enough. I know there's an upgrade you can buy where you can put like, you know. Oh my gosh, whoa, we got a Gowling guy over there. Holy cow, there's a Gowling P zombie. I didn't even realize that was one of them. This is a problem. Cause he shoots four peas. We haven't even we haven't even showcased the Gowling P in general. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have another twin sunflower right there. 
Put that lily pad there. This is a problem. This is a problem, because there's a ton of zombie. I mean, he should take a decent beating with this uh, melon pole on the, on the job. Okay, so. I'm gonna keep that twin sunflower for as long as I can before I have to start switching things out a little bit there. But for now, this is okay. Oh, that jalapeno. I don't know how he works. Maybe he works like the jack-in-the-box zombie. As long as we keep him away, it'll be okay. I can only hope, right? This guy is really taking a beating. I think we need to cherry bomb him. Maybe that was a mistake, because there's just more popping up. But it makes me think, what if there was a more full-fledged zombotany mode? Like, what kind of zombies would be the scariest with plant heads? I would think that a melon pole zombie would be horrifying. The Gowling P zombie is pretty awful as it is. Uh, a cherry bomb zombie would be pretty tough. I mean, that's sort of the scary thing about the uh, chili, or not chili, the jalapeno zombie. The doom shroom zombie would also be scary. A scary shroom zombie would look really funny looking. I would love to see that. Okay, so this twin sunflower needs to be replaced for another kernel pole, just because we really need more butter being thrown out here. We're gonna put a uh, twin sunflower over that one in the water lane anyways. And then we just gotta hope that we can survive with everything here. I think that we can. I'm gonna put out potato mine just as extra protection at this rate. And then wait out for this uh, twin sunflower. And then when we're doing really good on sun, we can go ahead and start replacing the twin sunflowers for just melon pulps. I might wanna wait until we have like a thousand plus sun though. But this is our second of three huge waves, so. But yeah, now all the sunflowers are pooping out two suns instead of one, and that's helpful. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna get rid of this little group. I think that's pretty good. That worked out nice and well. Okay, so that's the bulk of this huge wave done. Yeah, if we could earn up maybe like a thousand, maybe 1200 sun before we start you know, replacing the twin sunflowers with the melon pulse, that way 1200 and they're 300 each, that would be four of them. I, I wouldn't have to worry, I'd only have to worry about earning up sun for the other two while I'm removing the twin sunflower, which isn't as bad. That's what I'm waiting for now. I also have to have some sun left over for when these guys inevitably eat through this tall nut. But we're really starting to earn it up. Like we're already at 825, that's pretty good. Now at 875. Yeah, the tall nut zombies take a beating, that's for sure. Just like our tall nuts. Okay, so we're at 1,050. The walnut zombies look so happy. They're just like, man, I'm just happy to be alive. And then the tall nut zombies are like, oh, I'm so angry, my head's too big. Yeah, I'm trying to think about what other zombies would be funny with plant heads. I think that like in PvZ2, I don't know if, I don't think they, like there's so many minigames missing out in PvZ2. Cause it would be so cool if there was a Zombotany minigame in PvZ2, I, I don't think there is. I would love to see like a Snapdragon zombie, that would be cool. I would like that a lot. Or like the coconut cannon, that'd also be fun. So, what am I looking to get done here? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, since there is a lot of scary zombies here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put our second melon pole in the water lane. Will this potato mine do its job? Oh, it just barely will, I'm so proud of you. Okay, so we already have another melon. No, I removed the wrong thing. <laughs> that's just embarrassing. There we go, see that's all I wanted to do. Oh gosh, we got one of the squash zombies. Um, okay, he got buttered, that's good. I forgot about the squash zombies too. They'll, they'll squash your fun, that's for sure. No, 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 one of them squashed his tall nut. <laughs> I didn't even see him behind the gigantic tall nut zombie. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not bad though. We're starting to really make things work. Cause I actually have enough for the next two melon bolts, which they restore really, really quickly. Maybe I could just start putting some flowers out here as a sort of extra protection. And also as a extra way to get sun. And they're sort of in a risky spot, of course, but the, the, it's not really a risk to me. So there we go, we have ourselves like a full troop of melon pulps and kernel pulps. Actually looks like a pretty cool little design. So this is our final wave. Yep, there it is, final wave. Hmm. So where do I wanna put this? I'm thinking right 
Actually, those guys are getting cleared out real fast. Boom, do that. And we only have one left. The lone tall nut zombie. And I don't think he's gonna make it. I mean, hey, maybe he will. But I don't think so. <laughs> okay, well that actually turned out pretty well. Colonel Pole and Melon Pole. That combo is always fun. Melon Poles are so much fun because they just do so much damage, it's insane. Come on, come on, you're almost done. You can get there at this point, our cherry bomb's gonna restore before you're taken out. There we go, finally. So, nothing lost there. We get a thousand coins and a couple more for the lawnmowers and pool cleaners. So, finally, no, no, not finally. I don't know why I thought that was like the second to final boss or mini, mini, mini game. I sort of spoiled the last one. Anyways, Wanna Bowling 2. So, we got a lot of sequels here for the last episode of mini games. So this one might be a little bit more challenging as you can see, but we also have giant walnuts. And these guys are fun. We'll show him off once there's more zombies out here. But I just love all these variations of walnuts you do not see in the actual game. Just in this mini game. And these are really the guys you end up seeing in Garden Warfare in that one map where they're rolling down the hill and they take you out and it's a pain in the butt. Man, it makes me miss Garden Warfare. I need to play more of that game. I don't have enough time to. And of course we still have Explodo Nuts. I think these spoiler nuts actually be, end up becoming a real plant in PVZ2, but I can't remember. There we go, we got a combo there. Okay, so we have enough of these giant walnuts to start showing you soon. It's just, it's most useful when there's a lot of zombies around, which is what I'm waiting for. Especially since this is pretty easy so far, just a lot of brown coats and stuff. Okay. I like how it's giving me so much of a variety of walnuts at this point. I'm not getting a lot of normal walnuts, which is what I'm looking for. Okay. Might wait for a couple more to pop up. And then do this. Oh, okay, that one's gonna miss. Okay, so maybe now we can do this. So the, the giant walnut is so huge, nothing stops it. It just keeps rolling until everything's gone, which is really funny. Okay, we can bounce off that bucket head. We can do that again. And then get rid of them too, cool. So let's see what we can do about this. Can we get a combo? We can get at least one. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, that messed him just barely too. This one should hit this brown coat. Nope. I'm really bad at that. It hit that guy though. Okay, yeah, I just want more normal walnuts and they keep on giving me explodo nuts and giant walnuts and everything. Ooh, that's a good one. Well, we did end up getting a lot of coins from this last time, too, just because, you know, they just give you so many zombies. It's inevitable you start making more combos like that one. Okay, so can we make that guy jump? We can. Hmm. I might just have to start getting rid of some of these guys. We have too many. I think I'm gonna get rid of the tall, or the giant walnuts first, because honestly, depending on the situation, they're not as effective as Explodo nuts when there's like just a huge row of those guys. I mean at the same time if you have three tall nuts You can get rid of you know a good collection of zombies Okay, this is a problem. I'm gonna do that and then <laughs> I Wish that would give me some coins for just you know it taking care of a ton of zombies. Jeez I'm not getting any combos. What the heck happened there? Just went right through both of them Okay, come on hit him. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So we're just gonna get rid of these guys and boom, <laughs> okay, that's a lot better. So we're on our first of three super huge waves. That's not gonna be easy, but it's gonna be fine. I think we'll be able to take care of it. Oh, hey, look at that, we got disco zombies. We haven't seen these guys in a while, to be honest with you. Um, There we go. Try to get this guy a little bit. And then get this guy, boop, boop, boop. Oh, look at that combo, it was amazing. That's why I really don't want to use the Exploder Nuts or anything, because we get more money this way. Come on, I might have to use it in a second, though. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll do it. Oh, but no, I won't. Because look, there's more zombies popping up. We could really get a good combo. We didn't, but we could've. And if things get nasty, don't worry, I can handle it then. Oh, that gave me a golden coin. That's awesome. Okay. Bounce you and get nobody from it. Okay, then I have to do that. That's a shame. That really is. Okay, well, we did what we could about all that. If it wasn't much, it wasn't much. There is more coming, and that's good. 
Because I guess this is the one I remember getting some major combos off of. I actually forgot there was a one up bowling too. I thought there was only one one up bowling. It makes me wish that they, they had more than one level for each one. Because, you know, some of these feel like they're a lot of fun, they could be really explored. And some of them just felt like they could have had more, you know, thought put into them. The ones that doesn't immediately come to mind for me are like Zombie Aquarium. But I talked about that when we tackled it. I mean, some of them are just really, really short when they, you know, could be a little bit longer. Oh, chocolate, finally, yes! You found some chocolate, feed it to Sticky to speed him up for a while. Uh, so yeah, that's actually something I talked about at the end of last episode, but I tried to, you know, keep it elusive of what specifically the name of the thing was. But yeah, it's chocolate, and chocolate speeds up Stinky the Snail, so that can be very, very helpful for your Zen Garden, earning up a ton of cash. I'll show it off afterwards. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do what we can about all this. I'll go ahead and explode you. Look at all these dancing zombies. Bounce off of as many as I can, which isn't really too much, unfortunately. Okay, that could have been better. Get rid of you, get rid of these guys. That was a decent little combo right there. If we wait these, wait for these guys to get a little bit closer, we're still not on our second super huge wave. It's been taking us a while. All right, well that was okay. I mean, we've gotten at least like a couple hundred coins out of all this, I have to imagine. So I think it's been overall pretty well. Okay, definitely get you. Lots of bucket heads and cone heads and stuff, which can, Obviously make it a bit more difficult, but that's where the Explodal Nuts come into play. Okay, okay, got it. But that's why I definitely wanna showcase other PVZ games or other ports of this game in the future. I probably won't be doing it anytime soon, but some people have asked like, hey, do you ever plan on playing the console or DS versions of PVZ1? And I do want to, because like Plants vs. Zombies DS is so much different than Plants vs. Zombies normally, it's practically a different game. I mean, obviously there are levels that are the same, and in essence, it's just a port. But there's so many different mini games and how the game plays and certain other gimmicks that they use that it can really feel like its own thing. And it's so much fun, and I really like it. It's one of my favorite DS games. Uh, let's go ahead and do Big Wanna over there. And then try to get rid of these guys in however way I can. Uh, I'll go ahead and do this. We're starting to get a little overwhelmed here. Starting to run low on those walnuts. But that's why I definitely want to, but just sort of the same topic I talked about earlier with PVZ2 sort of extends you know, towards PVZ DS and the, plan, the console versions. I definitely wouldn't want to play the mobile one because if you guys don't know, with the mobile PVZ1, it's sort of a shame. They sort of, they sort of ruined it. Um, there were two versions of PVZ1 on mobile. There was a free-to-play version that of course was full of microtransactions and wasn't really worth playing because it was just like, oh, you wanna play this mini game? I'll just pay 100,000 coins. You know, it was always ridiculous. Um, you'd have to put like hundreds of hours in the game just to play the mini games. It's like, what the heck? But then you could just pay for it. It's basically the full version of the game um, that I'm playing here. Oh gosh, that was really close. Um, full version of the game that I'm playing here just on mobile but they got rid of it. I guess they ended up making more money off of the free to play version because people would buy coins, right? Um, and I think that the PBZ one, like the actual paid version was like, you know, a couple of dollars, but nothing crazy, like maybe $5 at most. And I was like, I can't believe they got rid of it. It was like, that's so ridiculous. I think that's sort of more of a decision made by EA than PopCap, unfortunately. Not so much we can do about that, except for pout about it, I suppose. Let's go ahead and get rid of that guy. But yeah, that's why I'd, I probably would have never played the mobile version. Anyways, I don't think the mobile version has any mini games that the other versions don't have. Maybe somebody can enlighten me on that, but I've never played the mobile, like iPhone and Android versions of PVZ1. Do they have any mini games that the other ones don't have? Okay, this is a problem. Uh, getting a little overwhelmed at the moment. We still have another super huge wave to survive after this, so if I could just, oh, that was a lot of coins right there. Keep moving, got it, got it. Oh, that could have been a lot more if it bounced better. Go down, oh, it didn't go down. <laughs> I wish I had more more normal tall nuts. They give me too much of a variety. Okay, that's something at the least. I mean, yeah, we've gained over a thousand coins in this level just by playing. That's pretty good. Come on, come on, got it. Nice. 
Okay, I just need another normal taunt, or wanna, if you can give it to me. It'd be funny if you could get a taunt, and like it goes really slow because it's not circular, so it doesn't roll very easily, that'd be funny. Okay, so I need that golden coin. I think I need to explode you guys, and then, yeah, get rid of you. Okay, get rid of that guy as well. Oh my gosh, it's craziness. Total craziness. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of the newspaper zombie for sure. Whoa, whoa, we got the double golden coin. That's the first time we've ever done that. That was awesome. See, that's what I'm really looking for all the time. Okay, gotta be careful. Get rid of that brown coat. That was really close. I've had a couple of close calls so far in this, this mini game. Get rid of that guy. Get these coins. And we're making our way to 16,000 now. It's just like so crazy. Got it. Got it. It's just, the thing that really makes it crazy is the disco zombies, for sure. Like, they really amp it up. Pun intended, you know, amp it up, like musical stuff. Yeah, never mind. Okay, that one was awful. That one between, like, every zombie on the field. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of those guys. I guess I'll explode on these guys. That was a pretty good combo right there. I like it. This is, I love this minigame a lot. It's also just really challenging to make it work the way you want it to work. Okay, boop, that was pretty good. Get rid of this guy. Look at how many zombies are coming our way though. I don't really have too many tall nuts or walnuts left. I don't know why I want to call them tall nuts right now. Probably because it's Zambotni too. I'm used to call, like, you know, seeing all those tall nuts. Okay, get rid of you, sir. And then you are gonna give me coins. Probably get rid of this guy. Okay. I need to do that. And then I need another, yep, normal walnut, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it never ends. Jeez, it really is one of, one of the longer mini games. I wasn't expecting it to take this long. And I'm using up every walnut we have just to survive. It's challenging for sure. But that's what I sort of appreciate about it, is that they don't pull any punches with this one. I mean, it's not like so hard that I'm like taking a bunch of retries. I think we're still gonna be able to get it done in this try, which is good. But it's just one of those things where it's also not gonna baby you about it anymore. We gotta go ahead and do this. I didn't want to have to, but we had to. Go ahead and do that. Ah, oh, this is a tough situation. Okay, now it's not. I mean, now we can actually let them hit the uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. We probably, we can let them hit the, the lawnmowers now, since this is the last wave. We should survive just fine. But this is very cool. We've made thousands and thousands of coins from this. Got it. But this is where you're supposed to be saving a bunch of your giant walnuts for. But obviously, it's not very easy to do, and we're about to, ah! Okay, I just barely saved that lane. Eh, it's not really worth much, but. Okay, quickly, quickly, get some extra coins out of these guys before they, they all get destroyed. Can bounce between those dudes, and then maybe if I, yep, yep, that was a pretty good one. Will this guy bounce up? Nope, he'll bounce down. Come on, come on, explode or not? Nope. <laughs> they just don't give you many nuts at the end. I, I feel like it's like, it's almost expected. Oh, and there's one more last chocolate. Very cool. Awesome, awesome stuff. This is gonna be a longer minigame episode compared to the other ones. Uh, these just minigames, they did take a, lot, a long time. I'm like stuttering like crazy, I'm sorry. Uh, but now time for another really difficult mini game. It's Pogo Party. Okay, so let's get started with this one. It's just gonna be a bunch of Pogo zombies and it's just horrifying. I don't really know how to handle this because I remember it being so difficult because they throw Pogo zombies at you immediately. And it's like, what are you supposed to do about it besides like, I mean, I guess they get caught by tall nuts, don't they? And then after that, once we get figured it, like we get situated, we need kernel pulse, and then we need magnet shrooms. No, 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 magnet shrooms. That's our best bet, right there. Like, I hope that they'll land. I don't even know if they'll land on potato mines. It's like, I just, I have no clue. Go ahead and do that. And just, we're just gonna survive for as long as we can, because they throw, I remember this one, I remember losing on this so often when I was younger because they throw pogo zombies at you like right away. And I just don't ex not understand how you're expected to survive it. Okay, we got another one. 
I mean, there are normal zombies that can pop up, but it's like 99% Poco zombies. It's insanity. But we'll survive against as many as possible. I mean, we're doing pretty good on some so far. Got it. At the moment a Poco zombie pops up, oh, I could even, mmm, that's tempting. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that now. Oh, that's perfect, that's perfect, okay. Maybe this is the strategy I've been missing out on all these years. <laughs> Immediately putting a magnet shroom down as soon as physically possible. That's gonna work. Okay, so he's over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to survive this. Uh, the only problem now is that I need to put something there. Um, he walks rather slow, but not incredibly slow, you know? So he might actually make a problem here, unless I can put this chopper down. Yeah, got him. Okay, so we just gotta keep surviving, keep moving. Another Poco Zombie's gonna pop up. We gotta put this there. Oh man, it's like, how in the world are you supposed to afford anything? Maybe I could just put that there. That's not gonna pop up in time. That might have been a mistake that's gonna ruin me. Come on, come on, I need more sun. You know, if you eat through that, I'm gonna place another one. Give this potato mine some time. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. Oh, thank you, potato mine. Perfect timing, buddy. I love you. Okay, put this here, and then we have another chomper nice and ready to go, just like that. Magnet Shroom has been a total champ so far. We might be able to do this. Like, this might actually be doable. It might not actually be an impossible mission. Come on, come on. Luckily, the chomper's already there, so he should be able to help us out just fine. We'll go ahead and put something there. So. Hopefully two magnet shrooms will be all we need at first. But we need to be able to get another chomper over here or something, or something. Come on. I think we'll have to do the same strategy we did with the potato mine before at this rate. Uh, 125, 150, never mind. Awesome, so I'm probably gonna just go ahead and dump him. Okay, so we got another one over here. This is where I'm gonna, like the problem is that Maybe I could have put things out one farther. I mean, I sort of did things out of necessity, which is both a good thing and a problem, because like now I don't know what to do with the kernel pults. I mean, I guess I could zigzag them. That's probably my best my best chance of survival. But we have our whole lot, row of uh, chompers now, which is pretty good. They do come out at a pretty smooth pace. It's not too fast, not too slow. But man, you just barely get enough time to get everything ready. And I'm just gonna start putting kernel pults around. So yeah, I'd probably put them over like that and then zigzag them so that there's room for the magnet shrooms. But we probably only need two magnet shrooms. I can only hope, right? Got that. I'm gonna put a kernel pult here. And then I could just do this. So even if somehow there were too many pogo zombies, we'll be able to survive it for at least a little bit. Oh, more chocolate. We are just being showered in the chocolate of the goodness. That's good. I don't think you need to ask me twice. if. Being showered in chocolate's good. I mean, I guess it could be pretty gross if you're taking it literally. But if, you know, you're just receiving a lot of chocolate, chocolate's delicious. I mean, I'm not a big sweets person, but. Okay, so the magnetrons are doing great there. Chompers are doing great. We just need a little bit more. Get that, get that. Okay, so now at this point, it's just slowly earning up more and more sun. And maybe even just like making multiple rows of tall nuts. Cause like, that's sort of the thing. They get caught by the tall nuts. They can't jump over them, but it's hard to save all that up at first. Okay, this is a problem. This guy's like, not a pogo zombie. <laughs> if you eat that chomper, I swear, you jerk. Come on, come on, we're almost there. We just need a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Don't start giving up on me now. I need to get rid of this sunflower so we can get a kernel pult there. That way we can actually start getting rid of some of these guys with the kernel pults. Come on, come on. Boop, got it. So Chomper's gonna eat you. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is too difficult. Uh, come on, Chomper. Chomper, buddy, I need you just to, to, to swallow your food. Stop, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, gosh, that stinks. It's just so ridiculous. It just never stops being difficult. Put that there. Earn up another 25 sun, so we got that. Another super huge wave is about to pop up, but at this point, I feel like we've mostly got it managed. All I need to do now is just have these guys hold on for as long as possible. Come on, come on. Oh, finally, that chomper is gonna eat him. Thank goodness. Oh, man. 
So now if I wanna put sunflowers anywhere, I'm probably better off putting them up here. Just that way the Poco Zombies will most likely just jump over them. So that makes it easier. And it gives me a place to put more sunflowers. And if I lose them, it's not a big deal as long as they can make 50 suns. See, look, they're gonna jump right over them. So actually, most of these sunflowers are rather well protected out here in the front. Maybe that's a strategy to keep in mind if I ever to do this again. Maybe I should put the sunflowers in the front right away. That'd be interesting for sure. I mean, it would be a little more expensive because you'd have to put the flower pots down and that'd be the tough part. Oh, more chocolate, that's our fourth chocolate we've gotten. Usually I don't get nearly that much. Like I'll get one every couple of hours or something. Not this time, we're getting a ton of it. That's awesome. Like four and one hours, or not even, we've been playing for 45 minutes. Just that much is an insane amount for sure. Okay, so go ahead and put that there. So now I can actually start just making like an army of kernel pulse for sure. Cause I have all these sunflowers out here. Okay, so I'm gonna just put more sunflowers out like that. And then whenever I can, I'll replace some of the tall nuts. Like this guy's getting a little low, so I can just do that. Awesome. And then, who wants another kernel pulp? You guys do. All oh, these poor, poor sunflowers. Like, no. I'm so sorry, sunflowers. But look at the kernel pulps are doing away with you. Okay, so we're doing all right. I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy there. That's not bad. I need to make sure I have enough for the tall nuts, and I do, it's just the tall nuts haven't restored yet. Okay, got some coins there. Okay, so, nice. That was pretty good. Replace that nice and quick. You gotta be careful, because the plant pots, they don't have much health, so if you're doing the switcheroo like that, you could end up risking just losing your plant pot, and then things could go really south really quickly. Um, luckily, like I said, there's an upgrade you can buy with the coins that makes it so that uh, you can just put a, a, a walnut right over a walnut and that does the replacing for you. It's just a matter of earning up coins to actually get that right now. It's a little more, bit more difficult for me. We can go ahead and do that. Oh gosh, I ate through both of that. This is what I'm saying. This is the problem we gotta be worried about. Okay, chomper, 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 come on, buddy. I need a little bit more sun here. Need one more sun, need one more sun. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? Jeez, ridiculousness. No matter what I do, I just feel like I don't have enough to survive. I just need a couple more kernel pulps out here. That'll help for sure. When in doubt, just throw out more kernel pulps. Get that guy there. Okay, we need 75 sun and our setup is mostly complete. Okay. Perfect. The sunflower that's getting replaced pooped out the last sun we needed. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and build up sunflowers in front of the tall nuts as a little bit of extra defense and also to help us afford more tall nuts. It's a full cycle. Come on, come on, got that there. That tall nut is looking rather weak, so if we could just keep moving and keep placing. There's actually more than one tall nut that look rather weak right now. So if I could place another one, I need to be able to do that so that it starts restoring as soon as possible. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so the next one's restoring pretty quickly. And then after this, we have one more uh, mini game left to go. I gotta say, I'll be so excited if we complete this right here because that will mean that I feel like this is the most difficult mini game in the game. And I don't think I've ever completed it in one go like this. It always takes me a couple tries. So that would be very cool, because I don't think we're gonna fail the next one. Okay, oh, that's a problem. Huh. Well, I don't know what tall nut's gonna be eaten through first, but I just gotta be ready for anything, I guess. Hmm. Get that coin, get that sun. I'm just trying to be ready for whenever I need it. But I think we might have made it. I mean, one thing I can do now is I can st start cycling chompers. That's always a good strategy in situations like these. Or we just need to get rid of the uh, zombies real quick. It is just cycle chompers. As soon as we have another one we can place, get rid of the one we have and put another one down. Okay, so tall nut there. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, buddy. And then finally, cycle the chomper. And there we go, we got it! First try! That was insanity! 
Oh, I'm so happy. So we got one more mini game to go before we're done every single mini game, and it is Dr. Zomboss's Revenge. Now, I actually don't know if anything's different about this mini game. To me, it's always felt like just the same boss fight. You get to just play it whenever you want. Which I guess is actually pretty cool because, you know, normally you can't choose what level you want to play in adventure mode. Once you beat it, you start from 1 1 again. So I sort of understand that. You know, if you just wanted to go ahead and have fun with the final boss, now you can. So yeah, I think that's actually a pretty cool idea. So even if it is just a just total copy paste of the final boss and it's not any more difficult or has anything different about it, it's still pretty cool to have. So yeah, that's what we're doing now, Zomboss's Revenge. And since we've already beaten Zomboss once, it isn't that difficult. So I think that we'll be able to do this without failing. I hope so, because if it does, that means we have completed every adventure level and every single mini game without failing. As far as I, re I, re I recall, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. And isn't that exciting? And I think that's just really, really awesome. That we've done that through that, this entire playthrough. Okay, go ahead and put it, I didn't really mean to put it there, but maybe, I uh, wouldn't be worth doing that, would it? If I could get something to deal with that guy, it'd be fantastic, like that. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and just do this. I don't know if it'll actually damage him, it does a little bit. Okay, so I gotta be careful, because I only have so many ice rooms, so I wanna make sure they're well saved. There we go. Boop, got you a little bit. So we know what we're doing here. We know what we're hitting with what. We've, we've been to this, this rodeo before. Oh my. I do have to be careful. Okay, now I can freeze you, because I have two of them. I can afford just to use one. Let's get rid of that uh, cone head. Oh, now we have a bucket head. Luckily, put him in front of the melon pole, so that'll hurt the cone head next to him. I'll definitely take care of the cone head before it takes care of him. Okay, so this is a bit difficult to keep up with. I definitely think this is more difficult. Like, we're getting less plants and more zombies. I definitely think this might be a more difficult version. Or maybe I just got bad luck this time. Hard to tell. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna make that, which is awesome, because now I can freeze you, I think with the jalapeno, and it unfreezes you, unfortunately, but I think it's overall worth it, but that missed him, gosh darn it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a melon pulp there, put that there. So I have like a good amount of organization with all these uh, plants so far. I mean, that usually gets ruined whenever he throws the RV on top of it, but let's hope it's a little bit until that happens. Okay, so things are working out well as they are. The Poco Zombie, I'm not familiar with ever showing up in levels like these, so maybe this is more difficult. I don't remember him showing up in the final boss. I have one melon pole here that I might just wanna hold on to. Oh, it's hard to tell, hard to say. I might put one there, and then we'll get another one. Uh, Frozen. Okay, that worked out okay. If I could've done that a second later, I would've actually frozen him as well. That would've been good. Okay, so oh, the, the problem here is that I need to Oh, no, 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 no. That stinks, that was awful timing. Ah, oh, that really stinks. If I could have just done that a tiny bit better, I would have been fine. Ugh. I don't really want to jalapeno you if I don't have to. So I'll we'll have to see what ends up happening. Uh, what is this, just an extra plant pot? Looks like I'm gonna have to throw a jalapeno his way. Well, there's an extra one, not bad. Oh, this is actually definitely more difficult. <laughs> Comparatively, I'm having a much harder time keeping up with all of this, but I still think we can do it on the first try. All right, let's freeze this dude. Boom, he ain't going nowhere. Throw another watermelon at him. Throw as many watermelons as you got. Okay, so he's looking angry. I'm not gonna play this jalapeno just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze him one more time if we can. Because that's also really good, is just having him frozen like that, because then he can't move, and we're able just to beat him up a lot. So go ahead and boom, do that, and then he's probably gonna peace out. I don't know if it's worth playing that right now. Okay, we're fine. So we're only like a fourth through his health right now. It's insanity. Oh gosh, no, 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 freeze him. I don't even think this will do enough. I don't really know if I want to jalapeno you, especially since they're only taking uh, cabbage and kernel pulse. It might just be worth it just to let it be. Probably a waste of an ice room, to be honest with you. This guy shouldn't be too big of a deal. Yep, he's fine. <laughs> We're getting a lot of plant pots out. We'll sort of guard well against the uh, the potted or the for the uh, for the pole vaulting zombies. Okay, so what are you gonna do? I don't know because you're frozen. I just love how he's just stuck there, like oh gosh, this is awkward. Okay, so you're going to make a. Frozen ball of doom, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna try to freeze you one more time if I can. Boop, <laughs> now you're stuck there. Okay, we're about to hit the halfway mark, which is fantastic. 
We must have like a full lane of watermelon in the center there. I have a feeling an RV is gonna show up soon because usually when we have this many watermelon, yep, caught it. Yikes, maybe I should have saved more of those plant pots. Oh well, did what I could. We're halfway through this level. How much longer, oh my, can we survive? He's not gonna be easy to deal with. Uh, Okay, luckily he's frozen for a little bit. Uh, it's not gonna be too helpful for too long. Come on, I need another, yeah, here we go. And then I wanna just set you aflame. Still not enough to take you out. Jeez, you are tough. Freeze you, freeze you, freeze everybody here. We get another one, we get another frozen thing. Oh, this is tough, this is tough. I gotta do this, cause I, oh, and there's another one right away. Come on, freeze these guys. Don't squish that, that's not yours. Jeez. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, oh, there goes a melon pole. Maybe that was a mistake to use that many jalapenos, but he's about to pop back down. Okay, so, I wanna wait. Or maybe I can throw one of these his way. Yeah, we definitely did this a lot easier. <laughs> A whole bunch easier the first time. This is definitely a more difficult version. But that's fine, because we're handling it. I mean, we're overall doing okay. If we don't make all the right moves, though, this could catch up to us big time. I want to save as many jalapenos and ice rooms as I can for the gargantuars, because this stuff happens way too often with that RV. Where is he even getting them? I mean, I know that Crazy Dave himself has an RV. I mean, that's sort of interesting. Maybe it is Crazy Dave's RV and it gets destroyed, so Crazy Dave decides to rebuild it, thus making Penny. Have I just invented proper PVZ lore? <laughs> I might have to jalapeno this uh, uh, ladder zombie. I don't, luckily. Okay, we're good, we're good. But I might have just invented some PVZ lore. <laughs> Cause think about it, like, Crazy Dave at this point didn't have like some kind of crazy RV. Honestly, this is like when Zombot throws an RV down, that's the only place like an RV really shows up because his shop is out of the back of his minivan. So what is the RV even for? I mean, cause here's the thing, a lot of people think that we are on Crazy Dave's house right now for whatever reason, but in reality, we're on the player's house. And that's sort of a lot of things people talk about in the lore of Plants vs. Zombies is, why are there no humans besides Crazy Dave? But technically, you the player are supposed to be human, which is pretty ironic for me, because I'm not. But, uh, go ahead and get rid of you, freeze you. I mean, we could try to hit you really hard right now, and then freeze you again. Ah, that, that, that was a waste. Oh well. He, he realized what was happening, and he got out of there. So he's getting low. Okay, do I need to protect any of these guys? I don't think so, I think we're fine. But yeah, there are technically two existing humans, if you are considering it that way, in PvZ1, Crazy Dave, and then you as the player, because that's why Crazy Dave pops up and talks to you. So that's where it gets really interesting, you know? Um, but that's sort of the thing, is that Crazy Dave has a car and an RV? I don't know, maybe his car gets destroyed out of all of this too. Uh, I mean, and they never follow up on that other plot problem that I'll talk about. Um, and that is at the credit sequence of you know the game, you can still see that Crazy Dave is being bounced around by a <laughs> a bungee zombie. Wouldn't the zombie just try to eat his brains? How did Crazy Dave ever get out of that situation? They never explain that. I mean, I get it, Crazy Dave, if there's anybody who can defend well against zombies, it's gonna be Crazy Dave. Oh, they, they're still able to take zombies even when they're frozen? That stinks. So like maybe he just had some cool crazy Dave moves and was just able to get out of there. But I think I might have invented how Penny was born, is that he threw the, those RVs and he found one and he rebuilt it. He's like, oh gosh, you don't deserve this RV. I think the RV in PPZ2's name is Penny. We might actually be able to win this right here, depending. Uh, I'm gonna hold on for now and then freeze you like that, hit you with one of these, and then hit you with one more. Boom, gotcha! Okay, so Dr. Zomboss's revenge is finished. Not even a super difficult version of Zomboss can beat us, and we get a trophy for it. All right, so another thousand coins, which means we can now afford the 10th seed slot if we wanted to, or many other things. We got a trophy, keep on collecting those trophies. Well. It's hard to do that when we've gotten them all. 20 out of 20 mini games completed, as you can see on the top right. I am so happy about that. It took a lot of effort, but it was totally worth it. And as you can see, we have more plants that are ready to be uh, taken care of here in the Zen Garden. 
And that's sort of the thing, is that I probably won't be, uh, what's it called? I probably won't be buying the extra seed slot just yet. I'm actually gonna put that money back into the Zen Garden because that's a little more productive for me. Um, so one thing we'll do is give you Bug Spray and give you Bug Spray. So now all of these top flowers are uh, happily just pooping out sun because they're glowing as you can see. So this is where we use Stinky the Snail. And then we can go ahead and give him some chocolate and he'll be moving around just picking up coins constantly. And you can actually just leave him here and he'll keep doing this. I can go ahead and buy some more plant feed. And yeah, he'll just start picking stuff up like crazy. And what's great about that is that you can leave him here for an hour and it's a great way to earn coins. Cause I think he'll keep going and keep on picking up coins for like 30 minutes an hour or 30 minutes to an hour. So yeah, that's very worth it. When it comes to the shop though, what else can we afford right now? We should take a look. I mean, we could buy more seedlings now, might as well. Um, and then we, we could buy the golden watering can, but I don't think it's too useful yet. When we get more plants, it will be. There's also different little rooms we can buy for different plants, not just marigolds. And then there's also um, the tree of wisdom, which isn't too helpful for right now. I'm not sure there's plenty of options. We could buy the plant upgrades and then there's more plant upgrades. And then there's this, the walnut first aid. Let's go ahead and buy the walnut first aid. Uh, it lets you plant fresh new walnuts over damaged ones works for tall nuts and pumpkins too, which is so very helpful. So yeah, some very cool stuff. So if you're wondering what might we tackle next, we're gonna be tackling other game modes. There are two puzzle game modes that I'll show on the main menu in a moment. Um, we'll be tackling those next. So the first one is Vase Breaker, and then the other one is I Zombie, and they're both very, very fun. They're basically mini games, but a lot more fleshed out and have tons of levels to them. So that's gonna be fun. I'm really excited for that, and hopefully you are too. But I'll continue watering these plants on my own time. I think you sort of get the idea but I'll be trying to grow the Zen Garden more and more as time goes on. But yeah, like I said, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Pogo Zebra so you've watched the end that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.